Secure Shell, or SSH connections, are great for remotely troubleshooting a network. With a switch, the network administrator is able to authenticate and manage users who connect via SSH. In this edition of Tech Talks, we're going to show you how to configure your SSH user authentication settings on a managed switch. Don't go away. The SSH Client feature is an application that runs over the SSH protocol to provide device authentication and encryption. Today, we're going to configure this authentication on a managed switch. To get started, go to the Web Configure page of the switch and log in. Once you're logged in, go to Security and then TCP UDP Services. You want to check that SSH Services checkbox to enable the Access Switch command prompt through SSH. Then hit Apply. From there, on the top right of your screen, you'll see Display Mode. <clears throat> go to Advanced. Then go back under Security and open SSH Client. Select SSH User Authentication. On this page, you can choose an SSH user authentication method. You can set up a username and password on the device if the password method is chosen. Or you could select authentication by RSA or DSA public key. RSA and DSA default key pairs are generated for the device when it's booted. One of these keys is used to encrypt the data being downloaded from the SSH server. The RSA key is used by default. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to authenticate by password for this example. I'm going to enter my username as anonymous, and my password, I'm going to use the same. If you change your username, I'm going to call this Cisco test, you can see that the password is either encrypted or plain text. You can click Display Sensitive Data as plain text to display it in plain text. Click OK on the prompt. Then enter your new username, Cisco test, then hit Apply to save your changes. You can always go back and click Display Sensitive Data as encrypted so no one will see your password. As I restore my default credentials, I'm back to anonymous and anonymous for my username and password. After that, you can go down to the SSH user key table. If you want to edit one of the key types, choose either RSA or DSA and click Generate. Generating a new key will override the existing key. You can check the details of the public key and private key of the one you just generated. Right now it's in plain text, but you can display it as encrypted by clicking Display Sensitive Data as Encrypted. Go back. You can also edit. It should prompt you and you can set the key type. I'm going to select RSA. You can remove the RSA public generated key and put in your own. I have an encrypted private key. Go ahead and copy and paste it here. When you close out of this, be sure to hit Save and to save the changes to the configuration. That's how you set up the client user authentication settings on your managed switch. As you walk through your own, I wish you smooth sailing. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.